Here's how to make a podcast with Riverside.fm. This is one of our top picks for podcast software right now with great podcast recording and podcast editing features. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create a podcast like a pro in no time. I'm gonna walk through the process start to finish. Also talk about how to do a show solo or if you're gonna have guests and make sure that you have the highest quality recordings possible. And Riverside has a free version so you can get a feel for it and we'll start there. But then I'll also jump into my paid account just to show you some of those features in case they are helpful to you as well. By the way, my name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. And the first thing we're gonna do starting on Riverside's homepage, scroll down here and click get started. By the way, you can find the link in the description for this. You'll need to create an account, which you can do with email, or you can use your Google account, Apple account, or Spotify account. And it'll take you into your studio. So this just is based on my account name, Jerry Potter Studio, but you can change that if you have a company name to make it look more professional. And before we start recording, a couple settings to look at. Over here in the column on the left, I'm gonna hover over the studio name. I'm gonna click the three dots and I'm gonna click settings. Here's one of the places you can change the name of the studio if you want. Down here under recording mode, you can choose whether you're gonna record audio or video and audio. The nice thing is even if you're only recording audio, if you have a guest, you'll always be able to see them so you can still kind of communicate with each other that way. Down here under audio, you might wanna look at the noise reduction toggle here if you have really loud fans or air conditioning or anything like that. But if you have a relatively quiet recording space, you can just leave that off. Here under video, this is where you're gonna set your video resolution. Now, right now, I can only select this left-hand one, standard resolution, which will record in 720p. You're probably going to want to be able to record in 1080p or 4K, which is only available on the paid plans. The free plans really are just for kind of trying it out and seeing if you like it and if it works well on your computer and all of those things. You wanna check the transcription language, make sure that it is selected for what you're looking for. I believe they they support over a hundred different languages, which is really impressive. And then a couple of settings. If you want a countdown timer before you start hitting record, you can have that toggled on. Looks like it's on by default. And you can have it automatically start recording as soon as the first guest joins the studio if you want to toggle that on. The rest of these settings pertain to live streaming, and maybe we'll cover those in another video, but let's get focused on recording our podcast. I'm going to click back in the upper left-hand corner, and now I'm back in the dashboard in Riverside. To get started, you can either plan a recording. So I would click this drop down and schedule a recording. You can choose the date, the time. Let's keep it at 10, 19 a.m. Let's be specific. And then your time zone is what you would select here. Once you're ready, hit schedule. And then it's gonna let you invite people to join you in your recording. So if you just wanna send the link via email or DM or text or whatever it might be, you can just copy the link right here. And if you wanna directly email an invite from Riverside, you can just put your guest or guests emails in this box here. Now this little drop down here lets you choose what kind of person you're inviting. So if you were to live stream your show, then you can invite audience members and that lets them chat, but nothing else. The guest option lets them of course be a guest on your show with their microphone and camera on. And then the producer is not going to be recorded as part of the show, but they can assist the host and tweak settings and different things like that. So now that we've scheduled that recording, you can see it right here at the top. But if you're ready to record now, you can just click go to studio. On this next screen is where you're gonna confirm that you've got the right equipment selected, your camera, your microphone, and there's one other really important question that you need to answer as well. So on the right side here, you'll see a preview of your camera. Again, if you're just recording audio, you may still see this so that you can see your guests, but it's not going to record it. But if you are recording video, it gives you a nice little preview here. Then you're gonna choose your microphone. These are all drop down menus, so you can choose from all the devices that are connected to your computer. And then what are you gonna use for audio? Are you gonna use your computer speaker or headphones or what? Now over here on the left, you're gonna put in your host name and it might be there by default, but also you have to tell it, I'm using headphones or I am not using headphones. Why is Riverside trying to get all up in our business? It's actually for a really good reason. If you are using headphones, you'll get the best possible sound. If if you're not using headphones, there's always the danger of the sound from your speakers, like when your guest speaks, bleeding through your microphone. So they've actually got some echo cancellation technology that will eliminate that, or it should eliminate that from happening. But that's why they wanna know. So I am using headphones, so I'm gonna click this button, and then I'm gonna click join studio. 
And here we are. So you can see my camera there on one side. The other side is the prompt to invite people. So if you were doing an impromptu recording, like I said, hey, come on my podcast, I would then send you the invitation or copy the link here and DM it to you or whatever else I was going to do to get it to you. If you don't have any guests, though, you can go ahead and click this X up here in the corner and remove them. Quick tour of what we're seeing here in Riverside. Up at the top, it has the name of your studio. If you're going to live stream, this is where you would turn all that on and set that up. You've got a little help button here, settings, if you wanted to go in and change settings once you were already in the studio. Couple to look at, for some reason, if you're not able to hear your guest, you can turn up the output volume. It doesn't change the recording, but just so you can hear them better. And if for some reason the video looks weird because you're not seeing yourself the way that you're used to, they have this uh, mirror video option. Sometimes if you've got words on the wall on a sign, it'll show them backwards so you can toggle that to make sure that you have that the way you want. And everything else in here we set up before we started. Next, over in the menu on the very right side of the page, you can see these options. Next, we're gonna go to this chat tab. And this is where you can chat back and forth if you have a producer or maybe with your guest. Maybe your guest is talking and you wanna just send them a quick message saying, you know, keep going on this, this is a great topic or something like that. But it's a way for you to communicate without having to say it in the middle of the episode. Below that is the brand tab and this is where you can kind of change some of the settings so there's themes in here most of them are locked here on a free plan but i can click news flash just kind of changes the way the studio looks and some of the on-screen graphics and colors so i can go through and i can choose different styles of things it's changing the way that my name looks down here at the bottom of the screen and then if you have a paid plan again you can add your logo some other cool things Next tab is for text. This is basically lower thirds that can show. So I could, for example, um, click on these and it'll show there at the bottom of the screen. You can add these pretty easily, create your own. And I like that they have a timer so that you can put it up there and then it'll fade away after whatever time you set, or you can have it stay up there permanently. And then this last tab is the media tab and they've got some stuff in here. For example, maybe you want people cheering for you yay or different things like that a drum roll but you can also upload your own thing so maybe you have a specific music bed or sting or something like that that you want to have as part of your episode you can play it in here and that includes video files all right now we're ready to record i come down here i hit the record button you have an option to run a test recording which i highly recommend but let's go ahead and hit start recording it's going to give me a five second countdown Hello, and welcome to The Six Ways, where every week we bring on an awesome entrepreneur. I'm trying to do the podcast uh, intro from my podcast, The Six Ways, and all of a sudden, of course, my brain is freezing up uh, under the pressure. The cool thing is, here inside of Riverside, they do have a script toggled down here, where you can jot a script down at the top, and on the paid plan, they even have a teleprompter option, which is kind of cool. So that's there. Also, down here, if something really great happened, let's say your guest shared something amazing, or you said something that really like the way it came out you can mark the clip and that'll make it easier to find later if you were to pull it out to use as an intro at the like to tease at the beginning of your episode or to repurpose on social media or any number of things like that otherwise down here you can again switch out your microphones and your cameras different things like that now i want to point out two buttons because they can be confusing over here on the end we have the leave button now if everybody's done you can click end session for all and that will basically close out the whole thing but if you just want to stop recording you come over here to this first button where we hit record and we hit stop it'll stop recording but you and your guest are still here in the studio and you can still say oh wow thank you for being on the show or whatever else it might be so just a couple of ways to get out of there i just don't want you to hit the wrong one and not be able to thank your guest over here too this little pop-up what happens is it records locally on your computer in your browser and then it syncs it to the cloud so if you have a slower internet connection and it's a longer episode this might take a while before it's done so you just want to make sure that all the recordings have processed before you close your browser tab otherwise you won't have them and nobody wants that once i'm done i can hit view recordings here or you could just return to the riverside dashboard this is the dashboard of my paid account because i wanted to show you a couple of features that are only available on paid plans so if i click on recording some of the AI features, like you can generate show notes for your episodes, magic clips will find clips that AI thinks are good and turn them into videos for social media, among other things. But on the free plan, if you want to download your stuff when you're done, you're just going to scroll down to the bottom of the screen with your recording on it, and you can download all participants, 
or you can download the individual files of you and your guests as well. If you had guests, you can download just audio, just video, um, lots of different options there. And then for the cloud recording, the cloud recording is, you know, a lower resolution version that they did record over the internet. But the other thing that's neat in here is if you want to edit in another program, you could do some of your basic edits in here and then come up to export all. And this allows you to export to Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro directly with XML or FCP XML, <laughs> that's a lot of letters, uh, formats. So that's another option if you want to move to a higher quality editor after you've recorded here in Riverside. And if you do decide to edit in Riverside, just to show you a few of the options that are available in here, they have transcript based editing. So you can just literally highlight the text and delete anything you don't want. And it'll edit the audio and video to match, which is great. You can add your logo afterward to give your video podcast a little bit more of a polished feel. They've got lots of cool options for closed captions that you can burn into the screen. And then here under layout, I have grid selected, which basically shows the guests in an equal grid on the screen. But you can also choose picture in picture. So for example, this is now picture in picture and it will focus on whoever's talking. So when I'm talking, it'll show me. And then when my guest is talking, it features them. Under the text tab, you can also add titles and things like that. You can upload images or use their royalty free images as well as add your own video clips and maybe audio if you've got a music track or something like that that you want to incorporate. I found Riverside to be a great option for anyone who wants a nice all-in-one solution for recording, editing, and publishing, but doesn't want it to take up all of their hard drive space because it's all cloud-based. And of course, if you're going to live stream, that's another thing that Riverside has built in. As I mentioned earlier, software is great, but audio quality is all gonna come down to the quality of your microphone. So if you don't have one yet, we've linked to a video on the screen and in the description for the best podcasting microphone for beginners. There's also a link to my channel. I help online entrepreneurs achieve more time freedom by streamlining their podcast and video creation workflows. And as always, there's tons of links and other resources in the description of this video. We will see you in the next one.